But then if you eat faster, you, you get more. I think that's why we're talking Which is like why I probably am so fat. Hey y'all, welcome back. Today we're doing Salty Crab's Favorite Moments, Episode 2. And next up on the list is a video from Vlogmas 2017. Hey guys! Hey guys! Okay, so we're doing a mukbang together. This is Becky's first mukbang. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. I guess I'm just gonna eat. Yeah, and talk, I guess. Okay, so the reason why I picked this video is because it's one of the first videos that Amberlynn and Beck did together when they first started dating, and it's just got a lot of these really awkward, funny moments where Beck would kind of let little comments slip, or you'd see her make a funny face, and Amberlynn was just putting it all out there for everyone to see. So let's watch it together. Yeah. Um, did you get just hard or? No, I got me soft. Okay, you have six soft and then six hard? Yeah. Okay, so I guess she got soft, so I'm gonna be doing all the crunching. I don't really like soft tacos. You wanna lay them all out? Well, sure. Yes. Me. They'll look great. Remember what? Oops. I was parched, so I got a big old thing of water. When people ask me to do mukbangs, usually people want me to do either sushi or tacos. So, Tacos. Here it is, you guys. I don't know if you guys have noticed Beck's face the whole time. Amberlynn's laying out all these tacos, but she kind of just has this look like, um, are we going to eat all of those? Keep watching because she keeps making that face. Becky don't do sushi. Yeah, she doesn't. This is a lot of food. And I just, way. I just know from firsthand. What, you don't think you're going to eat them all? No. Shh, I am. I just know from firsthand that, uh, each one of these is 150 calories, which isn't bad if you're if you're eating like two of them. But this is 900 calories for six of them, because it would be three, six, nine. Yeah, I'm not sure about the soft taco. Why is she even pretending like she cares about calories, girl? You just laid out six tacos from Taco Bell. Do you really care how many calories it is? We know you're gonna eat them either way. You can just put the trash in this box. So I'm drinking a diet soda. I'm drinking water because I'm very thirsty. Are you? Yeah. <laughs> you just can talk about whatever. Okay. So what <laughs> shall you talk about? I don't know. Rarity's in here and I'm afraid she's going to jump on the table because she loves human food. She probably will. Mm. So good. <laughs> Baby. You like it? Mm-hmm. I've had Taco Bell in a while. Mm-mm. So I have a theory that she wanted Beck to do this mukbang with her because she wanted Beck to do all the talking so that she could just stuff her face the whole time. <laughs> I could be wrong, but that's my theory. So I'm a slow eater and I chew slow. Yeah. No, I'm a fast eater and I chew like fast. Oh, Crystal just texted me. Sup, Crystal. <laughs> Poor Beck, how awkward must she feel? Oh, hey, my ex just texted me. Oh, cool, great. Like, what is she supposed to say? So yeah, we, um, we're pretty much done with Christmas almost. We still have yet to put up the tree. Let's go away. That was good. Baby, should we tell them what we did last night? Yeah. Oh God, no, please don't. Please don't share anything that you did last night. Please keep it to yourself. <laughs> we opened up all of our presents. <laughs> Oh my god, I totally forgot about this. Look at Beck's face. You could tell that that was like not her idea and it really bothered her. I mean, we know that Christmas is a big deal to Beck. It's a huge family get together for her. She's got lots of Christmas memories. Like she loves Christmas. So them opening up their presents early, I'm sure like she just hated that. You can tell, look at her face. This is a bad like thing for me. I 
get way too excited over seeing people's reactions of the gifts that I get them. So so she admits right there, it's a selfish thing. She just wants to see the look on people's faces when they open up the gifts that she got them. We, um, we actually wrapped all of the gifts yesterday separately. And then they were just sitting in the corner of the room. And I'm just like, you want to open them? And Lynn wasn't texting out for an answer either. You're like, we're mm -hmm. opening them now. Oh, shit. There we go. Bex confirming our suspicions. Amberlynn wasn't taking no for an answer. Sounds like she didn't even ask. She just said, we're opening them now. <laughs> and I took so... I was so precise in trying to make sure I hid every little bit that I might have missed so you couldn't see of the presents I got you. Mm -hmm. And then we opened them. Yeah. It was fun, though, right? You like that little bit of manipulation she does right there? It was fun though, right? Say it, Beck. Say it was fun. Don't you dare say it wasn't fun. It was fun. I didn't force her. Don't get that idea. <laughs> she was excited too. But, um, you want to share some of the things? And here she goes with her classic, tell them what I got you. Gee, where have we heard that before? Can you please tell them all I've done for you? So she has, the, like, what I'm proud of, this gift I am proud of. Who says that? I'm so proud of this gift I got you. Oh, my God. She has a um, fascination for Kate Winslet. And so I had to get this for her. I know a lot of haters are going to be like, it's fake. It's fake. But maybe you can eat. Yeah, no, I'm just listening. <laughs> Jesus, would you leave her alone? But I got her a picture that Kate Winslet signed herself. And there is a certificate with it. And I did a lot of research. I guess if you were to buy things with a famous person's signature autograph, there has to be a um, certificate or it's not real. So I thought that was kind of cool. I guess at signings, they give out certificates. I don't really know. So I got her that. Not unless you like have to, you know, have it inspected or whatever before you sell it. Oh yeah. But this is a known person who sells um, legit autographs all the time, so. Right. So, I got her that, which is one of my favorite gifts I got her. Oh my god, this girl is such a narcissist. How about you share some of the, your favorite gifts that she got you? No, no, no. Has to be all about Amber Lynn. I feel very proud of it. Um, it was my favorite. I got her a lot of stuff. Just things that I figured she'd like. Another one I'm really proud of is Kate Winslet was on the Glamour magazine. But you can only get them in the UK, right? Right. There's Glamour US and then there's Glamour UK. And I got her the Glamour yeah. UK magazine. <laughs> yeah, you did. Look, I mean, I know Beck is a Kate Winslet fan, but honestly, like, I don't know, a magazine for Christmas. I don't know. Is that is that like a really good present? I mean, if she was a collector, I could see that being a good present. But what is she supposed to do with it? I just feel like Amberlynn went on eBay and typed in Kate Winslet and whatever came up, she bought it. Because I'm trying to remember, I think Reese Witherspoon was on the Glamour uh October in the US and then Kate was the UK one so yeah yeah that sucked I was like Psh, whatever and I also got her the hat she's wearing Amber's like yeah 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 back to what I got you yeah it's a galaxy hat I don't know if you can see it from there but <laughs> I'm digging it so you know um, why don't you talk about some of the things I got you oh well we don't have to talk the whole time Oh my god, Beck, how did you put up with this for as long as you did? Oh my god. <laughs> I just feel like she's eating extra slow. She doesn't, she never eats this slow, you guys. Yes, I do. No, baby. You haven't even finished your first burrito. Burrito, burrito. soft taco. God, learn the difference between a taco and a burrito. But it's soft. And then come back to me. And then come back to me. <laughs> Hey, Amberlynn, how about you let her eat at the pace she wants to eat at? My God, do you want to tell her when to burp, too? <laughs> it's just my whole life. All the tacos I ever had were hard. <laughs> You're eating extra slow. 
Yeah. Uh, okay? I like to cipher. <laughs> Baby. Okay. So some uh, of the gifts she got me, my most favorite. Well, it's the one that sticks out the most. She is so rude. Well, you want to know which one's my favorite? Well, it's just the one that sticks out the most. Ah, is Adult Lessons, which is a book by The Gabby Show, which I love The Gabby Show. It's not something I talk about, but it's something I talk about kind of in my private life. And I love her so much. And um, Amber Lynn's a Trisha Paytas and a Gabby Hanna fan. Yeah, that totally checks out. She you really don't talk about how much you love her on here? No, I don't. Oh, she um, she talks about how much she loves Gabby all the time. I, <laughs> the shade from Beck. I do. I love Gabby. I guess it's just one of those things where it's like your your guilty pleasure. <laughs> I don't know. But um where was I going with this? Oh yeah. Gabby made <laughs> a book and got it published of her poems. Um um just random things and I freaking love it and every single illustration inside of the book is from her every word is from her and it's great some of them are super funny some of them are I'm just like how did this get published and then some of them made me cry <laughs> like, okay no hate to any Gabby fans out there but has her poetry ever made you cry because if so I'm side-eyeing you right now I'm sorry like, let's be real. Well, I mean, you know, it literally tells you on the back that it could bring from children's sing-song rhyme to, like, deep shit. So, mm -hmm. you know, that's probably where you're going with the how did this get published because, yeah, you know, it's like, hey, diddle diddle the cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon. <laughs> No, I'm glad it got published because it's amazing. And normally, no matter how much I like a book, after I've read it, I do give it away to either a friend or a charity like Goodwill. Um, but this book I am keeping forever just because it's like, why would I want to get rid of that? Of course you would cherish a Gabby Hanna poetry book. <laughs> Oh my God, do you guys think she still has it? <gasps> Next Q&A, someone ask her that, please, for me. Which makes me regret getting rid of the books that Trisha Paytas has wrote because I have read every single one of them. And I wish and I would have And you got rid of them? them? What's wrong with you? Why would you do that? It's because in that stage of my life, it was when I was living in Virginia, I had so many books, it would make your head spin. I just had too many. Look, I know that back in 2017, Trisha Paytas, Gabby Hanna, they were super popular and I'm sure some of you read their books, but did anybody like go back and reread those books over and over or was it just Amberlynn? I used to be such a reader. I don't know what happened. I slow key like stopped. I've been like really, when it comes to reading, like. The only book series I got crazy into. I keep dropping lettuce on my hair. I noticed that's why I'm just like. I don't care. I'm just gonna let you wear it though. Wear that lettuce, girl. Baby, tell me about it. <clears throat> Twilight. Yeah, I used to be big into Twilight. Me too. You know, and I was always like, you know, yeah, I love Edward. Awesome. I love Jacob. Awesome. Were you Team Edward or Team Jacob? I'm Team both. And no, then, you were Team Alice. I became Team Alice. I love the thought of Beck running around being a Twi hard. This is a great mukbang setup, in my opinion. Do you really think so? I mean, I'm getting food like between my teeth and my bottom lip is so uncomfortable. You good? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like it because people like to see the food as you're eating. You know, it'd be a really great mukbang we need to what? do before January comes. Spaghetti. Oh my God. Rebecca over here can make some great spaghetti. I can make some mean spaghetti and it's been a while since we've actually had that mean spaghetti. Mm -hmm. Forget daddy's pasta. We want to see Beck's famous spaghetti recipe. Cause we've been, you know, believe it or not everybody, even though you think we go out to eat all the time, we don't all the time. <laughs> mm -mm. We've been eating like salad and stuff lately. And I'm just, I'm really getting bored about it. 
but I need to suck it up because come January. <laughs> That'd be a good move on to the salad. Yeah. Because it's crunchy and... Oh, I love some lettuce. I think lettuce is probably my favorite vegetable. It's so bland. And everybody's like, I don't like lettuce. And I'm just like, you know what? Lettuce makes it. So what? For lettuce, where would your salad be? Huh? Do you, do you like spinach a lot too? I, I got, do like spinach. I got her into spinach. Yeah, I used to like... Uh, no, because I used to imagine spinach as being Popeye spinach in a can. Gross, slimy, stinky, covered in vinegar mm -hmm. or whatever the frig it is. Fresh spinach. You dropped but, a lot. <laughs> I know. I'll see that. Shut up, Amber. Beck's giving us an impassioned speech about spinach. Sorry, spinach. But the meat always, for some reason, falls out. And I'm just like, you know what? I'm not even here for the meat. I'm here for the lettuce and the cheese and the tortilla. What are you like? I wanted to show them how much fell out. What do you like, vegetarian? No. I like steak. Do you know Taco Bell has a lot of vegan options? Why? <laughs> Why? I feel like everywhere should have vegan options. Don't you? Alright. There should be options for everyone. Everywhere. What? There should be options for everyone, everywhere. Y'all, this is a real mukbang. This is exactly how I'd be eating. I'm not sure about this one over here. <laughs> oh my God, just because she's not shoveling it down like a human garbage disposal, unlike some people, just let her eat at her own pace. Why do you have to keep drawing attention to it? I might be eating all six. How are you feeling? I mean, I'm getting to that point where I'm like, oh, I, this is where it's recommended to good. stop eating. Where? That feeling where it's like right before you're about to be full. But. But you never go by that, do you? I feel like I get fuller quicker because I do eat so slow. Yeah? Yeah. You're on your third, I'm on my fourth. And like, I think the reason I like eat so slow like I said, I'm trying to savor it. True. I don't know. I'm just like, you know, I like to sit there and try to enjoy it. I don't like to cram it all in my mouth and regret it. Wish I had more. Plus, you get fuller, you know. When you eat slower. Yeah. But then, if you eat faster, you, you get more. I think that's why we're talking Which is like why I probably am so fat. If you eat faster, you get more. I feel like Amberlynn should have merch with that quote printed on it because that's clearly how she lives her life. I think that's why every time, like, whenever we go to a buffet or whatever, I can only eat one plate. And then I feel like shit because I'm like, I just paid for a freaking buffet and I ate one plate. But I firmly believe that the reason why people get so full so quickly at buffets is because I do too, is because of MSG. Oh God, is this another conspiracy theory like the chemtrails? Yeah, it's totally the MSG. It's not the chocolate fountain or the unlimited food. Definitely the MSG. But uh, I mean, I don't know. My friend Charlotte told me about that. We used to joke about it. <sighs> Shout out to Charlotte. <clears throat> Why is there a bunch of cheese and lettuce all over the table? Cause I'm a messy bit. <laughs> this is thrilling content. <laughs> you want to know what I've realized though? What? While I was at Walmart picking up that photo for mom, what? There, there really isn't any like black or ethnic dolls. Oh my God, Beck. Where did that come from? There are Why are you looking at the dolls? Because there's this old, older black woman in front of me. The guy at the counter was gay. I'm like, you know, yeah, this little small town is finally moving up in the world. We're getting different people but um <clears throat> that's her daughter thing. and her granddaughter was there with her and they had to special order a 
black doll that moves and talks and because like, they didn't have one yeah that's bullshit isn't it i was like come to think about it like yeah there was a black kid but there was only one that's bullshit I swear to God, if Amber Lynn starts talking about Rosa Parks again, I am tapping out. I don't know. I don't know. That just blew my mind. That literally, literally in that moment, I'm like, I've never seen a black doll. I have. I yeah, but if you anything, I've like lived in a bunch of other places mm -hmm. where the majority wasn't white. Like you know, where I grew up, the majority was white, and you know. You had your, you know, a few Latin Americans and your Mexicans and your Asians, like very few. I like And mixed. then I moved to Tennessee for three years. And whenever I came back, I was like, it got better. has changed. I this is what like, I wanted. Yeah, I like mixed. Like, what are you doing? You like mixed, Amber? Is that what you said? You like mixed? Do you mean diversity? <laughs> That's sad though that someone had to sit there and special order. I oh, know it was bull crap. Man, hopefully one day it won't be like that. We've come a long way, though. I will say that. I literally think in the future that it's just gonna be like a lot of mixed. Well, yeah. And that's gonna be beautiful because mixed people are beautiful. Oh my god, stunning. Huh? Stunning. Yeah. Oh my god, stunning. God, Amberlynn and Beck. Oh, geez. Um, maybe this was not a conversation y'all should have had. Like, sometimes I'm jealous. Did y'all see that cut there? I am dying to know what she cut out. That was really cold. Ew. No. But it feels warm over this way. I don't know. Did it get thoroughly heated? Okay, that makes me like gross out. <laughs> it's Taco Bell is good, even though you know it's not good. <clears throat> yep. You know it's not good, but it tastes good though. I don't think I can after this. You're done for that one? I wonder if like the flour, cause you have flour, mine's corn, right? I wonder if flour makes you fuller. Yep, yep, that's totally it. The flour makes you fuller, yeah. That's why you can eat six tacos and she can only eat four. Totally the flour. I actually ate six of these, y'all. I don't know how you did it, y'all. I feel like I'm not gonna want to eat anything for like. I know, ever. A while. <laughs> Do you guys ever get so full that you're like, I'm never gonna eat again? Like, food is so gross. I mean, I have a hard time believing that that ever happens to you, but. Or I hate like going out. Like, I used to, like, I hate doing this with my parents. We would go out to eat before we go grocery shopping and then we didn't want to buy anything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we'd just be like, Speaking of grocery home. shopping, baby. No. We haven't gone grocery shopping in like almost two weeks. I don't want to go. I hate grocery shopping. I hate grocery shopping. We can always do it tomorrow. I like to go to Kroger's. How about we like to not ever eat again? Yeah, we don't have to ever eat again. We'll just buy a bunch of air and water. It sounds like a good boot bong. Air and water? Air and water. Troll. <laughs> Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I do have to work on the lighting a little bit, but you know how that goes. And we'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Yes. <laughs> that turned out good. What do you mean? My first one. Huh. I feel like I was a little awkward. Aw, Beck, we love your awkwardness. I hope you guys had fun watching this with me. I'm sure you can tell why it's one of my favorites. And if you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to leave me a comment down below.